Hey everybody, it's the Walker. So what do we got planned for today? Something a little bit different. Now I saw the movie The Reverend, just like probably everybody else. And in the movie, which, is, which seems to be based loosely on events in the life of one Hugh Glass, the lead character is attacked by a bear, forced to flee from indigenous peoples. So he has to jump in the water, rolls around, whatever, freezing cold, probably hypothermic. And now he needs to start a fire or else he'll go belly up. So what does he do? It looks to me like he took a piece of a carbon steel implement. I would have to say it was a fork. Did they use forks back then in the woods? I have no clue, but it doesn't matter. It's still just a carbon steel implement. Strikes it with a rock, and then he gets a fire using just grass as a tinder. I'm going to assume that he probably did all the other wood prep, like he had wood ready to go, because obviously a grass fire is not going to last a long. But the question is, would it really work? So what do we got? We got Pyrodex, Pyrodex, which is a triple F, uh, the muzzle loading propellant. Now this is, I, I actually shoot black powder, although I haven't shot black powder in maybe 12 years. So this powder is actually 12 years old. It was actually it's kind of like a clump. I had to like hit it a few times and make it get all dusty again, but it wasn't wet. It was just, I don't know. So it's, I had this powder for quite a while, quite a while but it probably will still go up and it is um, muzzle loading propellant. It's not um, smokeless powder, which would be different. Now, I don't have that fancy dancy fork, whatever, whatever, they whatever he used, but what I do have is this wildly cool, wildly cool carbon steel knife. So, here's the setup. Pyrodex powder, carbon steel knife. Can we get a fire going in the woods? We're gonna have to do a couple things. One, we're gonna need grass. And I can only use the tinder, because this is the Reverend Firecraft. I can only use the tinder that was actually used in the movie. So I'm gonna have to use grass. Whatever, I obviously won't get the exact species of grass. I may throw some goldenrod. But whatever I consider grass, I'm gonna use. And black powder. Now, what do I need? I need a rock. I need a rock. So we're gonna look for rocks. And we're gonna look for tinder. And we're gonna test out Reverence Firecraft. Usually my favorite uh, target area for looking for quartz or any other rocks that I think might do a good job throwing a spark from carbon steel is to go in for areas that have this drainage. Moving water is really nice. You see this quartz, you see it right here. It's pretty easy to see. Uh, I guess the same would apply for flint and shirt. More here. What do we have here? Some more here. So you see there's some more right here. There we go, okay. So this is a good spot. Any spot like this that has um, There we go. Anything like this, we have a little drainage. Makes it very easy to see what we're looking for. Unlike these leaves, which would cover it up. Okay, um, there's a big quartz rock right here, but I think that's too big. I don't think we need that one. Let's take, let's take our haul. Let's take our haul, and we'll keep moving. Here's some dry grass here. We'll forge what we can. We'll also forge some of these golden rods um, as part as our, our for actual kindling. We we'll use golden rods as kindling or whatever these things are. But we'll use the dried grass as the tinder per the rules, per the rules. Kindling, we just assume that um, they obviously did that because dry grass fire would only last about 15 seconds. So we assume he had kindling and then larger wood. Let's go, let's collect up this dry grass. We'll get a pile of it. I don't want to. I don't want to come. I want to get this done. Remember, we're dying of hypothermia. We've been chased by Indians, and we've been attacked by a bear. See, despite the fact that we've had a warming spell, it's still February. 
it's still cold. So, not that much above freezing, if above freezing at all. Let's see here. If you're looking for, um, More grass. Keep looking. Gorgeous day though. Gorgeous. Okay, there's a quartz we gathered. Whoops. Ah, come back here, you. Come back here, you. I have to hit it a little bit harder than that. There we are. Okay. There we go. Fractured it. Fractured it. Fractured it. This quartz works. That alone might be enough. I'll break up some more. But that alone might be enough. This looks like a reasonable amount of grass that somebody could gather in a short amount of time. There's some uh, kindling to catch it. It's my pack. We're going to go look for more uh, wood, more kindling. Because obviously, there's no way a fire, you're going to get a fire going with just grass and sustaining. So look at this. I'll grab, uh, this looks good. Hemlock, um, well, hemlock twigs. We get a bunch of these. These look pretty darn dry. Whole pile. Um, like any fire, it's all in the prep. It's all in the prep work. But I'm gonna keep the prep down to a reasonable amount of time. It didn't look like uh, Leo had a lot of time there um, to do the proper prep. I mean, he was literally on the edge. So, just grab what we can quickly. I'm not gonna spend more than a few minutes at this. You know, if it's not enough, then it's not enough, but remember, we just got attacked by a bear. And we're being attacked by indigenous people. We're actually rather chased by indigenous peoples. Okay. I know that. All right, let's uh, look for larger sized wood. We need larger sized wood. Something that um, then can catch that kindling, expand the fire. But yet maintain within the rules of um, the movie logic. What's this? Oh, it's pretty dry. Okay, I'll break this up. Breaks up a bunch of this. Okay. All right, we'll gather up the wood. Then we'll get ready for, for the big show. We're ready to go. Down and dirty firecraft. There we are. Knife, rocks, dried grass, and then larger kindling wood. And of course, the propellant. Will it work just like it did in the movie? We'll see. We will indeed see. Okay, here we are. Now, here's a, all right, here's a pirate X. Here's something interesting. The, the pirate just goes right through the grass. Just right, right through the grass. So, you know, already I'm, I'm calling... Um, if you just threw it on the grass, that's basically what I saw in the movie, if I remember correctly, it's going to sift right through. Your spark's never going to hit it. So, to make it right, let's put a leaf right here. At least I can collect this powder. That's a little better. Of course, down there, there's a pile of powder down. That should make an interesting um, smoke pile. All right. So, that's first thing you saw right there. That the, and I, th I suspected that was going to happen. The powder will just basically drift 
right through the grass instantaneously. So there's no, um, there's no just throwing the, uh, at least that's what I remember. I only saw the movie once, so, but that's kind of what I remember was he just kind of sprinkled it on, on the grass. So that's, that's a no-go. I can tell you right now, that's a no-go. But there's the powder. Here's the knife. Another thing we do, this black powder, away, put you way, way, away from that fire, away from that fire. Well, we hope will be a fire, that's what we hope. Of course, it's gonna be interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, well, that's a success. Um, that clearly worked. That clearly worked. Oh, it's actually pretty impressive. Um, but there's no way though, I can tell you right now, throwing it on the grass is not gonna work. You have to have it in a cup or by the, or on the ground by the grass. You just, uh, it just drifted right through the grass. Okay, so it's pretty obvious. Um, rock. Right here, rock on this knife, carbon steel implement. I don't have a crazy fork, but I do have a knife. And, and uh, black powder, which is a uh, muzzle-loading propellant. <laughs> Make one hell of a fire, one hell of a fire. Um, but you need to put it in something. You just can't dump it on top of grass like they showed the movie. Put these leaves out of here a little bit. That's just not gonna work. Okay, I guess uh, that's it. That's it. Firecraft for the movie Reverend is verified. Absolutely verified with the exception of, uh, from what I visually saw in the movie, throwing the tinder directly on the grass. That's a no-go, but in, in a little tiny, either on the ground by the grass or in a little uh, leaf, it's just fine. Okay, and once again, uh, thanks for watching.